My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today, we are going head to head with two military grade products. These are solid fuel tablets, both 27 gram. We have Espit versus Fire Dragon. What I wanna see here is just how good the performance is between the two. How long do each one of these burn for? And which one seems to boil the water the quickest? With these two fuels, they are very much different, even though they both weigh the same. This is made from trioxane. This is the Espit Cube. The Dragon Fire Tablet is made from ethanol. When hexamine is burning, it's releasing cyanide, so you cannot breathe this in. You have to use this in a very well ventilated area. With the Fire Dragon tablet, that's not the case. You can use this inside of your tent, for an example, to heat up water, cook food, and so on. The forecast for today was beautiful weather with no wind. And as you all may be able to hear, it's now windy. That's how it goes. This is the real world. So with this test here, I'm going to use two wind screens. The wind's coming this way. Should be able to block it fairly well. I will be using this Espit stove. And that's because of the burner plate. You can see here just how big that is. It is large enough to support a 27 gram Espit cube and also a 27 gram fire dragon. Unfortunately, most tablet stoves don't feature a burn chamber that's large enough to support a 27 gram hexamine tablet. To start off here, I'm going to clean the bottom. I've been using this stove with Espit cubes for a while and there's quite a bit of residue. For this test, we are going to heat up 16 ounces of water. Let's go ahead and begin with the Fire Dragon. I think I forgot to tell you that this stuff is very, very slick. Also, it somewhat melts. Very interesting product. 16 ounces of water. Let's go ahead and light this up. Start. Look at that go. Now that's very, very interesting. Because it's melting, it's spreading out. There's a lot of flame there. We're now at one minute, 30 seconds. There are flames shooting out from everywhere on this stove. Look at that. That is crazy, folks. It almost looks like an egg <laughs> underneath there. That's crazy. You can see that the water is heating up. We're now at two minutes, 15 seconds. We're getting some bubbles on the bottom of the pan. Wow, so it looks like it's almost out. That's crazy. And it's done. It's hot. So the burn time on that was three minutes, 57 seconds. So it did not boil the two cups of water and that burned for roughly four minutes. Three minutes and 57 seconds to be exact. I was a little bit concerned about this because I know that the fuel melts and it spreads out. When it spread out like that, all of it burned up super fast, but at the same time, it was super, super hot. I was standing here and I could just feel this heat. It was almost like a heater was going. That really took a lot of that heat and put it right to that pan, but it did not burn for very long. The company claims that these will burn for roughly seven minutes. So we got four minutes out of this stove. I do have a BCB Fire Dragon stove. We will do another test to see if we can't get those tablets to burn for longer in a stove like this. That is the residue left over after the Fire Dragon tablet. What a mess. Look at that. Strange. Very interesting residue. It almost looks like paper with the texture of like a cracker. With the two fuels, they are very much different when it comes to like their form. With the Espit, it is very much a hard cube, a tablet. With the Dragonfire, it's very soft, it melts. You could take the wrapper off of this, no big deal. Once you take the wrapper off the Fire Dragon, you basically have to use it. 16 ounces of water, here we go. Okay folks, here we go. Light this up. Now lighting hexamine takes a while. You have to hold the flame to the product. I'm going to let this spread just a little bit so that it doesn't go out when I put it down. Okay. Put this on. 
and we're off folks just like that with the esprit you could see that it's much more controlled than the fire dragon the fire dragon had flames shooting out everywhere shooting out seven eight inches above the stove the esprit is very much controlled we're at basically one minute and it's still not fully burning it looks to be about half of it's burning right now two minutes five seconds and just now is the whole tablet burning check that out that is much more controlled with the fire dragon there were flames shooting out all over the place very dangerous you really have to be careful with that fuel we're at three minutes 15 seconds we're getting some bubbles on the bottom when it comes to these two fuels, already I can tell you that the Espit is more versatile. You don't have to use a stove with the Espit, whereas with the Fire Dragon, you pretty much have to because it melts. It'll just go everywhere. With the Espit, you can throw it on the ground, you can build a rock stove, you can do whatever you want to. But with the Fire Dragon, it just melts and goes all over the place. So that will limit its use. For an example, for preppers, survivalists, and whatnot, my personal preference would be the Espit for that reason alone. I don't have to use a stove. I'm not attached does something like this and there's a huge benefit in that the tablet is definitely shrinking you can see that it's now smaller than the burn chamber lots of steam you can now hear the vibrations of the water with the metal we are at seven minutes 27 seconds and that's going to burn for a long time folks We're now at nine minutes. The water has not boiled, but it is way, way, way hotter than it was with the fire dragon. Night and day difference between the two. We are coming up on 14 minutes off of this one tablet. That's crazy. That is insane, folks. I can't believe this thing has been burning for 17 minutes. <laughs> it just keeps on going and going and going. Good grief. That is hilarious. It's also incredibly impressive at the same time. You all will not believe how long this has been burning for. That's it. Good grief. 23 minutes, four seconds with the Espit Cube. What a difference, everyone, what a difference. Okay, let's go ahead and do this again, but let's use a Fire Dragon stove. Something that really does keep the fuel in one place. Without a doubt, so far, with the Espit stove at least, the difference between these two fuels is just insanity. I mean, insanity, they're so different. The Espit is a much, much, much better performer, but, we had that variable involved, so 16 ounces of water, here we go. Exactly the same as before. This time, we will use this cup, and we will use it on the Fire Dragon. The stove is on. Stopwatch started. We're 30 seconds in. Let's take a look at the fuel. It's beginning to melt, but it is being condensed inside of that chamber, so that is different. Two minutes. Again, you can see how the flames are shooting out at times six, seven inches above the bottom of the pot. The fuel has melted now completely. It's beginning to turn into that strange papery, that residue that it leaves behind is beginning to form all over the place. And we are now at four minutes. It has burned longer already, but the water's not as hot. That's interesting. We're now at five minutes. We're seeing some steam and some bubbles. Five minutes, 40 seconds. We can now hear the stove and the water heating up. Seven minutes, the water is steaming, some small bubbles. Is it going to boil before this goes out? Over eight minutes now, folks. Getting close to boiling, but, but that is almost out now. 
And that's it. With that test, my friends, 11 minutes, 41 seconds. So that is substantially better. So now let's move over to the ESPIT. Let's see how well it performs. What's interesting to me, folks, the Fire Dragon fuel basically did the same, and it didn't matter if it just melted and went all out, or if it was in a confined space and took much longer. The ultimate performance was virtually the same between the two. And now I'm curious, what about ESPIT? What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to light one, put it in, and then put this one right on the side of it. Our last final test. It's on, and we're started. 45 seconds. The entire tablet is burning. The flames are much more controlled. It will be interesting to see just how long this burns for. The first time was just insane. <laughs> that just went on forever and ever. One minute, 37 seconds. We have some bubbles down in the bottom already. Three minutes. Five minutes now. We have steam coming off the top. Much more centralized of a flame. It goes straight up, right to the bottom there. Whereas the fire dragon is so chaotic, the flames are just shooting everywhere. While I finish up this last test here, let me give you all some tips. If you take one of these stoves and you put it on the cold ground, quite a bit of the heat from the fuel as it's burning will soak into the ground and not go to your pot. But if you lift the pot up off of that surface, more of that heat will go straight to your pot. Next, make sure to put a lid on there. That will trap in more heat and make it boil faster. In this case, I'm not using a lid because I want to be able to see the water. But in any other situation, I would have a lid on there. We are now at 10 minutes, 20 seconds. 12 minutes. At 22 minutes, 45 seconds, the water is boiling. It's boiling, folks. It looks like there's a ton of fuel left over. I mean, there's a huge chunk in there still. <laughs> That's insane. It has been burning for 23 minutes. That is incredible. The difference between these two fuels is night and day. The one thing that the Fire Dragon really has is that it's non-toxic. I mean, that's the biggest pro to it. Otherwise, the performance of the ESPIT is way, 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 way better. Not even close, it's not the same ballpark, it's completely different. Everyone, 30 minutes off of one 27 gram tablet. That is insane. We're past the point of maximum heat, but it's still burning. You can hear that water going. It's pretty funny, folks. With the ESPIT tablets alone, I've done almost an hour of testing with just them. That's it. While this burns itself out, let's go over some information real quick. So when it comes to the Fire Dragon tablets, again, these are 27 gram. They are expensive here in the United States. Six of these will run you $8.55. With the ESPIT tablets, again, 27 grams, these are also expensive. You get eight of these for $12.99. If we were to have a lid on the pot, I think the water would have boiled. But for this test, I couldn't do that because I wanted to watch. The hexamine is the only tablet to get the water to boil. Dragonfire claims that these will burn for seven to eight minutes, and it really depends on how you are using these. In an enclosed space, you can get over 10 minutes. Espit claims these will burn 12 minutes, but that's not the case. I mean, we're going on 34 minutes right now. It's still burning, but it's almost out. Anyways, let's talk about the noticeable differences between these two fuels. The Fire Dragon is super easy to ignite. You could do that with a ferro rod. You can take the hexamine and kind of shave it up and you can get it to ignite that way with a ferro rod, but that takes quite a bit of work. Without a doubt, the Fire Dragon is very easy to ignite. The hexamine takes a little bit longer. You have to keep that flame on there. The Hexamine, the ESPIT, absolutely stinks. Even when it's in a package like this, I could smell it through the package. It smells like shrimp, it stinks. Some people really can't stand it. If you don't like stuff that smells like shrimp, this is not a product for you. The Fire Dragon does have a smell to it. It's more like an alcohol smell. Personally, I don't mind ESPIT at all, and I don't mind the Fire Dragon. The Fire Dragon begins to melt as soon as you open this up, whereas the ESPIT does not. 35 minutes, everyone. 
Almost out though. All right, it's out. So check this out, everyone. The Espit tablet went broken in half, burned in the small space, 36 minutes, 25 seconds. Good grief. <laughs> that, that is a really, really long time. So folks, let's go ahead and wrap this up now that everything is done burning. The Espit is on a completely different level. Both of these fuels have a time and a place. I love the fact that the Dragon Fire is non-toxic, but it's so chaotic. It burns so fast. It really isn't any hotter than the Espit at all. The Espit just keeps on going. The flames are very much controlled. Overall, for myself, I like the Espit. What do you think? Comment down below. That was a very interesting test, everyone, and I cannot wait to hear from you all. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. Which one would you personally purchase? Hexamine or Dragonfire? I really wasn't sure what to expect from this test. I wasn't sure which one would be the winner. I mean, it's not even close. It's not even close, everyone. Wow. My mind is blown. What about yours? Everyone, that wraps it up. I have been out here for hours. I'm done. <laughs> I did not expect for this to take that long, but uh, that was a lot of fun. Everyone, take care. Be well. Strength and honor. Hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. Know that I appreciate you all. I do. Strength and honor. See ya.